Hey guys, we are going to divide a couple decimals by whole numbers. So in order to do this, I'm gonna do a little long division. When I do long division, the first number goes in the box. So I'm going to have 0 0.75 here and four here. Now, when we are dividing a whole number into a decimal, it's a little bit different than when the decimal is on the outside. I will link a video about how to do that. But with this guy, I just gotta make sure that my decimal is in the correct place in my answer right above there. Then I just go ahead and ask myself, well, how many times does four go into seven? Well, it goes once. One times four gives me four. When I subtract that, I get three. I'm gonna pull down this five how many times does four go into 35? It goes eight times. Eight times four gives me 32. And I subtract and get three. Now this is where in the olden days when you're like in elementary school, you might have done 0.18 remainder three right? But we don't really do that anymore. We like it to continue with our decimal. So I can add a zero here because we are behind the decimal. So I add that zero, pull it down. And then I can ask myself, how many times does four go into 30? It goes seven times. I always like to keep bringing my bar over there. Seven times four gives me 28 subtract and I get two. Well, I still have a remainder, so I'm gonna add another zero. Bring it down. How many times does four go into 20? It goes five times. Five times four is 20, yes. When I subtract that, I get zero. So 0.75 divided by four is 0 0.1875. All right, we're going to do another one. If you want to pause the video and do it and then watch me do it, that's a fantastic idea. Or you can just watch me. You know, it's up to you. So when I do this long division, my first number is in the box. So 0 0.3 is in here and 10 is going to be on the outside. Now I need to make sure that this decimal is in my answer here. And then I can kind of ignore it. It's kind of nice. So how many times does 10 go into three? Well, it doesn't, right? So I can put a zero here. Zero times 10 is zero. Subtract and I get three. And then I don't want to do zero remainder three. That's lame. So I am going to add a zero here and bring it down. And then I'm asking myself, how many times does 10 go into 30? Well, it goes in three times. Three times 10 is 30. And guess what? I'm already done. So 0.3 divided by 10 is 0 0.03. All right, I hope that was helpful. If you need some more decimal videos, I will link a playlist for you. Thanks.